Hello, my name is Nikki Payne and I work for Balfour Beatty and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about Balfour Beatty and about the construction industry. So I've put together some slides here and um, we'll go through them now. So as I said, my name is Nikki Payne, I'm a liaison manager for Balfour Beatty and I'm currently working on a project in Kings Lynn for our client Kings Lynn Drainage Board and we're basically replacing uh, the existing pumping station to provide increased flood protection. So, Balfour BD, who are they? We're the UK's largest construction company. We have over 26,000 people working for us in offices and projects all over the world. And we have a revenue of £6.6 .6 billion a year. So what do we do? Well, rather than me try and tell you how exciting um, the projects are that we're involved with, I've got a short video here that hopefully will give you a little bit of an insight into the exciting world of Balfour BT and construction. So. Here we go. there we go I hope you enjoyed that and that showed you um, just how exciting our industry is uh, so basically we work in a diverse range of sectors we work in transport power and energy gas water um, social infrastructure so one of the projects you might have seen um, is when we were building um, so three um, buildings for the f-35 jets at RAF Marham um, so really diverse range of, of projects that we're involved with and here are just a few of them that you might recognize so future of construction why would you join it well particularly with a large organization like Balfour BT there are so many opportunities for you both nationally and internationally so we have literally got projects lots of projects nationally but also internationally the world could literally be your oyster no one day is the same and at the end of the project you really feel as if you've contributed to something unique and that really gives does give you a great sense of achievement. There are always jobs in construction, we're always going to need new houses, we're always going to need new hospitals, um, so it's an industry really of unparalleled growth and that growth is set to continue. And actually when you're working on a project it's great to feel that you're contributing to that community and construction also gives you the opportunity to shape the world around you. So what can you do in construction? Well, you can do anything and everything. There are over 150 jobs in construction and they are, they can be the jobs that, where you're working physically on the site, constructing that building. So an electrician, a carpenter, um, project manager, or you could be somebody who's working behind the scenes and supporting that project. So somebody in marketing or finance, um, somebody like me, a liaison manager. There are lots and lots of different roles available to you. So I just wanted to bust some of those construction myths that are out there. Um, the first one being that construction is a man's job. It's definitely not the case. Um, construction is an incredibly exciting world for women as well as men. 10% of construction workers in the UK are actually women and that accounts for uh, 320,000 women. And that is actually a figure that we are really trying to increase as an industry. 
Another myth is that construction is a dead end job. That's not the case. Construction is a major contributor to the UK economy and as such it offers endless potential for employees to progress up that career ladder. Another myth is that construction is all about working on a building site. That's not the case. As I alluded to early, earlier, there are lots of other um, roles in construction that support that project. So many of those begin before anybody's even set foot on the construction site. And then there's a the myth that construction is dangerous and bad for your health. That's not the case. Uh, the UK construction industry is the safest in Europe and we have many, many different rules and regulations in place to make sure that it's a really safe place to be. So I just wanted to introduce you to my team um, in Kings Lynn. We're a relatively small team and here are just a few of the different roles there are um, of, on that team. So I'm going to very quickly go through them. We've got project manager who basically has responsibility of the project and he or she ensures that the project is completed on time and within budget. A site agent will support him and work alongside the contractors and subbies to ensure that the building contracts will carried out on schedule. The site foreman is basically responsible for organising the construction works on the site and making sure everybody is um, complying to health and safety. Um, the site engineer is part of the site management team and acts as basically the technical advisor to ensure that all the materials and the works are being carried out on as per specifications. A QS or quantity surveyor is responsible for calculating and managing all costs involved with the project project. Health and safety advisor is responsible for ensuring there's a safe working environment and everyone is compliant with the safety regulations on site. Liaison manager, me, um, someone who makes sure that whilst we're in a working in a community that that community benefits as positively as possible from our presence and a site administrator who's responsible for um, on-site administrative duties and ensuring that there's a safe running of the site office. You have behind the scenes an architect who's responsible for the design of the building, civil engineer responsible for planning design and management of large construction projects, design manager who co coordinates all the design work and manages the, the technical drawings. So many different roles and if you're interested why don't you go on goconstruct.org which is a great website which shows you all the different roles in construction and gives you a good um, idea of what those roles are all about. So how do you get into construction? Well, there are a number of means. Apprenticeship is a great way to get in. Um, you basically are learning the trade on the job and you're earning new qualifications and money. Um, so you will generally spend a day a week at college um, earning your qualifications and the remaining four days you'll spend on a construction site um, properly learning your trade. A traineeship is very similar to an apprenticeship but is usually not such such a long duration. Um, graduate scheme, so basically when you graduate from college you could join a graduate scheme and put all of that knowledge that you've learned for your degree um, into, into your work on a, on a site and um, or on a project and you can also go directly so you can learn your trade on the job and upskill yourself um, over time whilst you're working in that company. So ways to get into construction, you go on um, website, employers websites, if you went on Balfour BT backslash careers, um, you could put in what job you're looking to, to, to join, whereabouts in the country you want to work and it will come up with all the opportunities that are available. You go on job sites such as Mon Monster on D or Indeed, careers events are a really good opportunity to go and meet people from different construction organisations to get a real feel for their company. Uh, social media, construction related websites, um, contacting companies directly, uh, word of mouth, newspapers and trade magazines and recruitment agency, all those methods are great ways of, of getting in. So I shall, I shall leave you now with um, a short video which I hope demonstrates what an exciting um, industry um, construction has become. Basically as technology is evolving, um, so is our industry and it's becoming more vibrant and more exciting every single day. Um, the new technology enables to, us to build more efficiently, even more safely and the future design of our infrastructure is becoming more and more innovative. So here's a video that hopefully demonstrates all of that much better than me talking. Here we go.
Right, so that's it. Um, hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into the fascinating world of construction and hopefully it will inspire you to think about a career in construction. Many thanks then. Bye-bye.